Hello, everyone. Welcome back to SR Technologies. Today, we are going to discuss another interview question, which is asked in CZA. So specifically, the person into is the my student. He shared this question. Like, you know, he mentioned uh, this is the one of the question which they have asked as part of the CZA. Can you please help me with the solution? So what I have did. So here is the question in detail. If you see, right, here the input is like, you know, students table and the, the column name is S name. And here you, you see the first row is having Rani, second row is having so and third row, third row is having so Suhai. And when it comes to fourth row, Manik and fifth row is Ram. And the output which they are expecting, whenever you see, right, Rani and so show should be get into first row, like second row should get into first row. And first row should come to second row. And the same thing with Manik and so Suhoi. And when it comes to fifth row, fifth row is having, like we, we don't have any sixth row, right? It has to stay intact. That is the question which they are asking. Say, simply, we have to fetch, we have to jumble the data. Like, you know, jumble the data means first row value should go to second row, second row value should go to first row. This is the question which they have asked. So generally, if this kind of question will come, how you can answer it? How you can answer it? There are multiple ways to answer it, this question. But we'll discuss only very, like, you know, generic approach as well as which is going to give you performance perspective also, which is going to be very good. So that particular approach, which we are going to discuss. The first thing, like here we are going to do, like, you know, first let's go ahead and create the data. Okay. Let's go ahead and create the data. I have already created the data under students table. Now you can go ahead and you can see here. You can go ahead and you can see I have only one column. So here you can see only one column is available. Within that one column, I have loaded five rows. Five rows. So here it is a because of small table. I am not going to provide any uh, SQL here for you, especially for the creation of the table as well as ingestion of the data. Directly you can go ahead and you can prepare it. Now let's get into here. Now how can we solve this? First thing is now we have to have a, some ID. Okay, which one we can utilize it? In Oracle, we have a specific row now. Okay, you can go ahead and you can utilize the row. Now, what we wanted, whatever it we have in first row, okay, it should come to second row. Second row value should go to first row. So, to do this, what we have, okay, there is a analytical functions are there. That is nothing but a lead and lag. First, we'll go ahead and we'll explore the lead and lag. Okay, first, what lead does. Okay, just let me give you S name. Okay, lead. Okay, here, what is that? Over, order by, order by what? Order by S name here. Order by S name. Let's go ahead and let's do that. As, okay, lead. Lead value. Lead underscore value. From teach table, students table. Let's see that. Let's see that. Now, do we need to provide it here? S name, right? Lead also will take parameter first is which one you wanted to lead this s name column you wanted to lead it okay how many rows you wanted to lead okay every time it is going to run it is going to check only one value it has to go ahead and it has to lead which means now you can see you can see here let me even give the row number also so that you, let's keep this okay for time being we'll talk about it that also now you can see Okay, what it is happening? What it is happening? It is going ahead and it is doing the, it is going ahead and it is doing the, it is ordering the data, ordering the data, ordering the data. But so this is not the ideal solution for this particular scenario. So what you wanted to do, okay, first thing is, okay, first thing is, if you directly do lead, okay, if, if you order the value, then it will come like this. So now next event will go with the lag also. People may confuse how can I solve this? Okay, we'll talk about it that in a couple of minutes. Okay, now here you can go ahead and you can do the lag also. LAG. Okay, LAG. Now what you can do here, lag value also. So first try to understand how it works, lead and lag. Then after that, you will, will get into, will get into remaining things. Okay. Now you can see here what is happening. Lead will give you, lead will give you what? It is going to, lead will give you next row. It is going to print to what? In the current row. 
okay when it comes to lag okay previous row it will print to it will print to previous row it will print to where in the current row current row for example manik okay do we have any previous row no that is the reason it is showing as null same similar fashion we have to apply this so whenever we have a lead it has to go ahead and it has to populate it where in the current row it has to populate it next row value so same similar fashion we have to apply it, but we should not jumble this we should not jumble this data okay we should not jumble this data so what we have to do what whatever the data which we have here right as it is okay for example rani and so is there now what is the output which you wanted to get you wanted to soon should be get into first row and rani should get into second row and so i get into third row fourth row and manik should go to third row this is the expectation if you go with this approach which is going to give you incorrect value now what we should involve we should involve one more thing what is that we should involve even a statement a statement how we can involve a statement first okay let me write it up separately select okay yes name okay i will keep it original case when when modulo very very important modulo of what modulo of what case when okay case when modulo of row number row num okay row num is nothing but it is a we have to generate the sequential number sequential number it is going to generate the sequential number this row number you are going to divide it by nothing but when you do module modulo it is nothing but divided by if the remainder will come if the remainder will come equals to 1 equals to 1 which means whenever the remainder will come equals to 1 what i am saying boss you can go ahead and you can provide the nothing but here what we are doing whenever you see whenever you see for example you find first is equals to 1 1 divided by 2 so automatically what it will come it will come as a remainder remainder it, either it will come as a 0 or it will come as a 1 now what you have to do if it is coming 1 then go ahead and utilize the lead function lead function what it does whenever you have a lead function let me go to let me print it out whenever you see here okay whenever you see here whenever you see specifically here rani and so on, right first time it is going to and it is going to check okay 2 divided by 2 okay one is first time it is going to come one divided by two it will come output as one okay it is not going to come as zero two divided by two okay it is going to come as a zero okay so first is whenever you see one okay model of row number equals to one what you have to perform you have to perform s name okay s name one okay and then and then okay what you have to perform what you have to perform you have to go ahead and you have to perform what was based on what over order by row number order by row num here we are not order by s name very very important thing here what i have done order by s name which is going to give you incorrect incorrect result so make sure you should use order by row num. now now this is fine now this is fine whenever you do case when is there okay then what you are what you have to perform what you have to perform obviously you have to perform what like this if you write it up it is going to give you incorrect result okay whenever you see when condition obviously then condition should come so in then what you are performing you are saying whenever equals to one okay equals to one first row is there obviously what i'm saying whenever first row will come automatically i'm telling boss go ahead and use the lead lead will what what it does whenever you see lead okay it is going to it is going to fetch second row value to first row second row value to first row okay now this is done when is done now what you have, what you want now you wanted to get okay this row okay this row should come to first should come to first so this row this row first first case is nothing but a run. so should come to first we have done that using the lead now what we have to get it we have to get the Rani should come to second row. So what we have to use? We have to use the lag function. Lag function. Lag also we are going to and we are going to use the yes name. Okay. Again here also one. Again here also one which we are going to do over. Okay. 
order by order by okay order by ronum okay ronum okay ronum as end we have to do end right whenever you use you use a statement obviously you have to do and s name okay s name s name output just i'll give it as a, this one and from students okay students now if i can run this okay if i can run this then you will understand the what exactly magic it is but still sir here what it is happening here you can see ram is there right ram still it is showing as a null because ram what it is checking whenever fifth row is there automatically it will come as one okay row number five means it is not going to divisible by two automatically what it is going to come it will come as one and it is going to look for the s name again you are iterating with one so when i say iterated you are looking for the next value next value is not there because of that what it is coming null value so to avoid that what we can keep you can go ahead and you can keep it simply same value lead will take three three elements you can take it up same value you wanted to keep it you can go ahead and you can keep it like this so automatically what it is going to come it is going to come wrong so this is the way you have to answer this to summarize it very simple what and all we have to use okay first is row now it is generating sequential number okay it is generating the sequential number in where in oracle okay it is a presidio column okay specifically in oracle which you are going to create it up this number okay now using row number first is what you are checking whenever you wanted to jumble the data okay first thing is if you wanted to get next row into current row you are going to use the lead function if you wanted to get previous row value into the current row then you are going to use the lag function so using this lag and lead you are getting the values jumbled but based on what you are checking based on very very important thing order by row number this is very very critical thing whenever you are answering this don't go with the name if you go with the name automatically this entire things it is going to be jumbled so what you are checking in lead function you are checking the actual column which you wanted to check it out actual column which you wanted to check it out which column you wanted to jump in. so based on that you are going ahead and you are getting the next row into current row okay at the same time you are going to order by row number automatically you are generating you need a number where you are you wanted to go ahead and you wanted to you need a id see simply you you wanted id where you can go ahead and you can you can you can modulo nothing but a modulo of that particular thing and you are going to check it out so this is this number which is available by default so you can go ahead and you can utilize this row number so that is where we our problem going to be solved still if you have any doubts please do comment i will go ahead and i will explain in the comment section thank you have a great day ahead bye